music. Ram air. Boom, here we are again. In Two your ears. Now. Why have you Continuing. got to start already with smut? I know it's you not. You get Charlie Conti- FM. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, we know. Well, Continuing on from the news in brief. <laughs> yeah, tennis. Tennis. And uh, of course the FA Cup quarterfinals begin. Tomorrow lunchtime is Arsenal Everton. Sunday lunchtime is Sheffield United versus Charlton. Well, that's not on TV. Actually, I'm just thinking Arsenal versus Everton's on in the bar. <laughs> we'll sort them out. <laughs> oh, so I'm sure Edgy will swing oh, it. Oh, he's an Everton fan. Yeah, exactly. So. We'll have to go to Daily Saw or something. Oh, betraying. Don't say it like betraying. that. Betraying. I want to watch United. Betraying um, the union. We'll go back though. Carry on. Nerf, won't we? Uh, and we're run over. Crumbling, shit. crumbling. Crumble. It's just a voodoo now, and obviously they can't get over a it. A hoodoo, you mean? Not a voodoo. Hoodoo, they don't exist anyway, but. Yeah. Sure. Mate. Jonathan <laughs> Walters scored a penalty as well out of. Um, can't correct me on hoodoo, voodoo. Lauren, because a midfield that he might um, come off the bench and play, or not, not be included at all after his injury. Uh, but yeah, Sunderland tried so hard. Um, and got so far, but I'm not gonna spin oh, any come more on, Lincoln finish Park it then, lyrics. Finish it if you're gonna <laughs> do it. But um, thanks to two second half minutes, two goals in two second half minutes, it didn't really matter in the end. And uh, City overturned the deficit with two magnificent goals: Yaya Torres, Sami Nasri. Torres, the pick of the bunch with a 35 yard killing effort, as um, Jesus Fernandez rounded things off for yep. Manchester City. With their first piece of silverware under Manuel Pellegrini, a first of a supposed quadruple. All you see will eventually become a memory. Anyway, Aston Villa beat Norwich 4 1 in a Midlands Jesus. clash. You started it with the Lincoln Park lyrics, alright? <laughs> uh, Villa went behind in the. Just trying uh, to incorporate some music. That was a nice game. <laughs> got a song in a minute. <laughs> trying to get through it as quick as possible here. What happened at Villa Park, Alex? 4 1 to Aston Villa, <laughs> move on. Um, and the visit is a penalty. And Swansea were unlucky to win, I'd say. Palace and Pulis had Julian Sperone to thank for not losing the tie as he thwarted Wilfred Burney on plenty of occasions. Kyle Pilkington himself. The pure Wilfred Burney, the no, poor Ivorian. He's not, I looked, I, I actually Google searched whilst listening to his show back, which you can on mixcloud.com, <laughs> our account. Yeah. I, I searched Julian Sperone grinning. There's not one picture where he's smiling because he's a miserable. He were, honestly, I sent you a picture of it actually. No, but you, you didn't. just ignored it like you do most of messages. Anyway. Yeah, there's a reason because he doesn't look like a thing like Carl Pilkington. He's got hair. Like, so what? Tottenham, so, Tottenham Hotspur and the uh, predictions, which is still <laughs> razor close. Razor close. Razor. Cl- it's razor. Razor close. Razor Ruddock close. This prediction contest. What are you on about? Razor Ruddock, the this famous Liverpool defender. Okay. I didn't think you were there, and you'll be kicking yourself after this. You'll be you'll be on the floor like you'll go home and you're like, ah, oh, Jake was right. Oh, silly. I don't think I'll be that bad. Ashley Cole. Oh yeah, well. Yeah, 2002, 2006, 2010. Started all the games, played all the games. So well done, Alex. Congratulations, you got half of them right. I'm all right with that. I got three. We'll so. move on to a better feature now, won't we? So no. okay. well, predictions. Wow, that's predictions. Ahead. It now. I know it isn't. I was just sticking with the England theme. We'll uh, stick with the England theme, and the theme is the what England a great theme. link there, Alex. That is a great link. <laughs> Top five England debutants, okay. courtesy of yourself. I Top mean Metro. Right <laughs> what are you on about Metro? I don't know what you're on about there. Eh? I've missed myself. <laughs> okay, in at number five. One of the youngest debutants was uh, scoring in a 2 0 victory against France in '92. <sighs> Going to score 63 goals for his country. Great what? player. What? Where'd you get that stat? 63 right goals? Is, yeah. That is completely wrong. 33. Come here. Did it not score 63. Well, they've got it wrong, the website, because the leading <laughs> goal scorer is Sir Bobby Charlton with 49. <laughs> Linear Crook I don't get off websites. I don't get off websites. No. So that's even less. So it's, that's your own statistics that you've just made up off your head. <laughs> yeah, I and just that, guessed. That is just insane. I just guessed 63 many, goals. It's a multiple of nine. He was a number nine. I just guessed 63. It's probably not a multiple well, of nine, Well, it? It, it works, doesn't it? It's not a multiple of nine. <laughs> 64. Anyway. It's nine upside down then, I don't know anymore. 
I've lost uh, it. Cons- Friday. I don't After know, I that, think. king of the statistics, who's in number two? Heck of a partnership. Out of that. this world so far since he joined in January. Since I signed him on FIFA as well. For Black yeah, because FIFA means a lot in the real world. I just world. want to say he's excellent on FIFA, so if there's anyone yep. playing manager mode out there, get Shane Long, his quality. <laughs> Blazo. Whilst Anthony and o- Agogo beat Yonel Tapia due to a third round stoppage. I so. think it's a go going back to Subway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Athletics, Tyson Gates. Uh, of yeah. course, the North Koreans who uh, won the World Cup According. in 2010. Yeah. Well, that's what Kim Jong Un would have you believe. The beat, but they did score a goal yeah. past Brazil, and everybody that was fantastic. Uh, John Tese in that national anthem crying. crying his eyes out, probably because he would get sent to a death camp if he did. Uh, Whoa, win. number five, <laughs> number five. Green, who's banned for the first game, but yeah, it's a good attacking lineup that. We'll see, what Shut we? you down. We'll see in June. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Number two. I just disagree with you. And I'm trying to do a f- top five here, and you know, I just interrupted it. <laughs> <laughs> with, with valid opinions. Wow. On this show. Go on, number two. I know from you as well. Oh. From a Sunderland point of view, would you say Barini is your player of the year for them? Um, Adam Johnson for me. Adam Johnson for me. 